We actually designed it as a purely electrically driven sports car. So we got the best options of everything. So sporty without any compromises, based on our decades of experience in the development and production of sports car. Four years did we work with a great deal of passion to implement our vision of the Porsche of the future. And now you see it. It's a highly innovative, fully electric uh, sports car. And at the same time, it's a genuine Porsche. And when you look at the uh, technology, the engineering of the Taycan, you will also see this. So we are the first manufacturer worldwide using 800 volts uh, electrical infrastructure, twice as much as presently used by others, and one of the basic requirements for Porsche typical driving performance and perfect charging performance. So we've got two constantly excited synchronous motors, one on each axle. They are designed for efficiency and uh, top performance under constant load and also when accelerating. The performance battery has a capacity of 93 kilowatt hours and has WLTP ranges of up to 450 kilometers. And we also have enormous recuperation that helps to achieve that. Up to 265 kilowatts are recuperated electrically here with the Taycan, also with the best possible or highest driving dynamics. The deceleration is effected with a brake pedal all the time. That's efficient, that's safe, that's comfortable and convenient, and it's really aligned with a sports car. The battery, with its position in the underbody, provides for an extremely low center of gravity of the car. So actually, it's lower than in the series portion that we got at present. When driving an overboost and launch control, the overall output is up to 560 kilowatts. So it only takes 2.8 seconds for the Taycan to accelerate from zero to 100. 9.8 seconds is what you need to get up to 200. The reproducibility and the consistency of the output and performance, of course, were a central objective when developing the Taycan. The extreme accelerations do not just work once or twice, but many times in sequence, right after one another, without any tangible loss in power performance. The two motors offer a maximum torque of up to 1,050 Newton meters. And then we also have the very innovative rear axle two-speed transmission on the rear axle. Rear axle. The first uh, speed or gear provides for maximum takeoff torque, and with the second one, you can go up to 260 kilometers per hour permanently. Let's take a look at the running gear. That's always been one of the core competences of Porsche. For the Taycan, we use electronic and mechanical running gear systems that are closely connected to each other, as, for example, active stability control, rear wheel steering, or also our three-chamber air spring. All of these functions are controlled by the central Porsche running gear controller. The sensor data are analyzed and processed in real time there. Because of the close connection of the motors and the driving or running gear systems, the four-wheel drive is particularly sensitive and fast, five times faster and more precise than conventional four-wheel drives.